Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SSWE number 27, being the 53rd episode in general. My God, not even in count, not even including the pay-per-views. Speaking of pay-per-views, we got TLC coming up, and y'all already know we're gonna set up for that. I didn't. I looked away for the one second. The city that we're in appeared. God, but of course. We have the resurgence of the Doom Brothers. They're not wearing their attire. I'll fix that. It's because it's not their default attire, which is kind of annoying after it's kind of a complicated process. But yeah, the Doom Brothers and the Essentials have been having some beef lately. And I'm curious to see as to how this is going to go. I don't think it's too brutal. But I think it is sort of a mutual respect thing, hopefully, for the sake of the Doom Brothers. Because the Essentials have saved the world. Literally, they're literally superheroes, so I guess the Doom Brothers have a shot. But yeah, I mean, another thing that's going to be at the TLC pay-per-view, we are going to introduce a tag team title on the SSWE brand because honestly, it is, it's kind of too uh, complicated to have people fight the tubers who are on the meme federation. It's kind of hard to implement them into that they're roster for, for a temporary amount of time. And plus, they're unbeatable, and I want to see new tag team champions. And, of course, the Essentials have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. My god. They seem so brooding and serious. They seem more darker than normal, ladies and gentlemen. They've seen some things since winning against the villains the and saving the world. A tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 494 pounds. The Syndicate. The tension building for this match is so Speaking of the villains, the world I conquerors, they have a new leader, Dr. Chaos, who beat all the other two in the triple threat match. So, we're going to see a resurgence of the world conquerors, the villains. They may enter the tag team match at DLC TLC <laughs> for the tag team championships. Of course, the essentials are not ever going to be done with the villains. My god. Watchman and Sonar Star. Two legends in their own rights. I can't. How do you guys feel about the stadium? I'm honestly very mixed about it. I don't know if I like it or hate it. My main issue is the entrance ramp. I don't like the wide white floor. It looks very bland. Oh my god. And their opponents at a combined weight of 302 pounds. The Doom Brigade! Nixon won the hardcore title from JC and Alex in a uh, triple threat match in a in a uh, non-televised event. So this is making it official. Although there are rumors that JC and one of the Doom Brothers is going to be entering the TLC match for the tag team, so it's more than likely going to be Alex and JC since Nixon already has the title on his waist. Oh my gosh, is the camera angle really earth or is that just me? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That's a weird cutscene. Nothing really happened there. Just like that, Alex... Oh my lord. Oh! Alex was... Properly blocking for a few seconds there, but Watchman, I don't think Alex was expecting the strikes. Boogie, of course. Oh my gosh, that could have killed Boogie. Sonar started using his sonar arm to attack Boogie. That was, I don't think that's legal. I mean, he's still alive, so obviously he didn't use all his power to so. Oh my lord. Sonar Star and Watchman. Oh! Boogie countering Sonar Star. He's getting too cocky. Oh, he Sonar Star, of course, is a very strong man. He does have superpowers. He is at the peak human body. But of course, Boogie is now 
Oh my gosh, targeting the weaker arm of Sonar Star, the, the arm that doesn't have the Sonar abilities. Oh! Oh wow, that was very interesting there. Going for a quick pin here. Oh my lord. What's going on here? Is doing the Mandible Claw? The first few seconds of the match? First few minutes, I guess? Oh wow. Oh my gosh, using the sonar art to completely drop Boogie here. Oh! Uh oh, now out Boogie is going in the danger zone here. The two superheroes. Wait, Bo Boogie's bleeding already? What on earth? I gotta say, man, Boogie's boots here. I think they cost $500. That's real rattlesnake skin boots. Sonar starts in the ring still. <laughs> Nixon, of course, saving his brother. Sonar Star's confused. Nix Nixie C seems to have been uh, made a bad decision. They could have won by disqualification. Sonar Star is just standing in the ring. Watchman, a very tactical mind here. Maybe the Boom Brothers bit off more than they, they can chew. The essentials seem to be more coordinated than ever, but Boogie now has the upper hand on the Sonar Star. A beautiful DDT there. Well, that that won't be it. Sonar Star is just kind of a tall man. You would have to get him in the middle of the ropes. Wow, a brutal spinning leg move. I don't know what that's called, but that looks insane. What is Sonar Star doing? Sonar Star is going to the top. He's going to take flight. Oh my lord. Boogie hit Sonar Star on the nuts as soon as he landed on his feet. Now Nixie C is in the ring here. Has Sonar in the corner. Nixie C. Oh my lord. But that's not. Oh, that is it. I thought he was going to do something. Oh my gosh. Sonar Star at the elbow. Sweet chin music on Nixie C out of nowhere. That was an almost easy win. I don't know why Boogie didn't break the count there. But that would have been a very quick win on the Essentials. Like I said, the Essentials are literal superheroes, but the Doom Brothers are legends. So it would be very unfortunate. All right, now got Watchman in the ring now. Very dangerous for Nixie C. Oh, my Lord. He just got tossed 20 feet in the air, ladies and gentlemen. But luckily, Nixie C. But Watchman greets a tagged in Boogie with a clothesline going for a pin here. Kicked out very quickly. Beautiful. A beautiful display. Again, I don't know what the assumptions are on today. They, they're just going crazy right now. Oh gosh, what is Watch. Wait, what is Watchman doing? What is he doing? Oh my lord, ladies and gentlemen, what is Watchman on? He's on his perk angle nonsense. I'm glad the crowd likes the likes the match. My lord, Boogie needs to step up his game here. My lord, I don't even know what that was. That was the most unique move I've ever seen. Watch is going to get back in the ring here. See, he is feeling it now. Makes you think, who's the bad guys here? Are the essentials the bad guys for brutalizing the Doom Brothers? Or are they just defending themselves? But he tags in Nixie C. I don't know if Watchmen's aware of this. I don't think he was. Nixie C now has the upper hand. Oh my lord, the strength of Nixie C! Where on earth did he get the strength from? He's dropping Watchman's face on the turnbuckle here. This could be the. Okay. I was gonna say this could be the opening they need, but Watchman. Wow. My lord, Nixie C, the acrobatics. Oh my gosh. Spit flew from Watchman's face from that punch. 
But Watchman's wearing a mask. That's how strong that punch was. And Nick CC is doing what they need to do. Uh, has, has Boogie even done anything in this match here? I don't know what is going on. Tags in Boogie. Nick CC wants Boogie to redeem himself. Why is he taunting? Boogie should be taking advantage here. Oh my gosh. A running clothesline. Uh-oh. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen. Alex is going to a very dark place here. Like I said, he has not done much in this match, but the only things he can do can be the only moves that matters. Oh, my Lord. And he hit it, and I think Watchman's bleeding. I don't know how they can tell, but he's bleeding. Oh, and Sonar Star breaks the count. It begs the question, would the Doom Brothers have won if Sonar Star did not interfere? Oh my lord. What was that running clothesline of Watchman? That looked like he was part of a mob. It looks like he was carrying a torch and just running towards whatever the mob is targeting. Okay, now all four men are at ringside here. Nixie C with the swinging seesaw DDT. Attacking Sonar Star smart, but also not smart because that he's not the legal man. But it is smart because Sonar Star is the only person with superpowers in the fight tonight. So to weaken him is smart, but it's not smart. Sorry for saying that word so much. It's not smart to attack the illegal man because you'll put all your energy towards that person, and the illegal man can put his finisher and pin you because you're out of energy from fighting his team. All right. We we're more than halfway towards the count. Or was that halfway? Because you count one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. It's like one of those, I thought it was one of those things where it's like you count to ten, but somehow when you count on your fingers, you get eleven. You know what I mean? It's like one of those weird things. Going for a pen here. Wow, he kicked out before the one count. That was insane, actually. Brutal clothesline once again from Boogie. Brutal moves here. Absolutely brutal. My lord. Nixie C. Oh, he's going to the top. Can he connect? Oh, he misses an elbow drop. That was very close. Oh my gosh. Sonar Star. That could have ripped Nixie C's head. Uh oh. I don't know why his finish is a sweet to music. I thought it was a Superman punch, but... Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was heard around the world. That might be it. Alex is not interfering. Nixie C still kicked out. Oh, my Lord. How is he still a lot? He got hit with another one. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Why isn't Alex helping his teammate? Nixie C kicks out again. This is the third sweet chin music. What is going on here? Oh my lord, Nixie C. I don't know what. I don't know if he's on the perks. He's, this man's going insane. This is why he won the. Wait, he just he just hit a pedigree on Sonar Star. He just made God bleed. Oh my god, everyone's bleeding except for Nixie C. This is great symbolism. You're going for a pin. That could be it. But of course, the Sonar Star has a teammate that kicks him out, unlike Nixie C. I don't know why Alex isn't helping. <laughs> Passive aggressively throwing Watchman at his teammate, Alex Boogie. My lord, Nixie C is performing incredibly well. I don't know how he even kicked out of two Sweet Chin Musics. I think he got hit with another one too at the beginning of the match. He got hit with three. Uh oh, what is Nixie C doing? He hesitated. Oh no, Sonar Star might get the advantage he needs. Going for a pin here. There we go. I believe Alex heard the announcers. Finally comes in to help his brother. That could have been it. Oh my lord! He's gonna hit a tombstone! Nick CC just hit a tombstone on Sonar Star! That's not gonna be it. Sonar Star is too large. Wait! Oh! Oh wow, I thought he actually had that. I don't blame Nick CC for being mad there. He had a tombstone on Sonar Star. And a dirty pin. 
That was a good effort. Sonar Star needs to get his stuff straight, but Nick CC gets out of it. Oh my gosh. These brutal slaps. Nick CC is doing incredible. I don't know what is going on here. He just gained a bunch of momentum out of nowhere. Uh oh. Nick CC again hesitating. And now the Sonar Star. Oh no. Can Nick CC get out of this one or is he gonna hit? Nick CC just got hit for the fourth time. That's gotta be it. Alex, what are you doing? Oh my lord. What is going on? The Essentials won again, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? It's so annoying when the teams just for some reason never do anything. My lord. A fourth sweet chin music to get the win. Nixie C would have had it if he just did not hesitate for that one second. I mean, look at I think this is the third one. And this is Nixie C. Hits his pedigree and tombstone. My lord. That was a great example of what a tag team can do. Two great teams, though. I gotta admit that Boogie, I don't know if he ate something wrong last night, but he did not really do that much. But ladies and gentlemen, the Essentials win. Oh my lord, what is this? JC and the Father are now teaming up to face the Awesomes? Is the Father officially going to become a part of the Doom Brothers? We'll have to see, but the Awesomes have been shown to have some cracks in the last few fights they've been in. Ever since they lost against the Tubers, they lost their title opportunity. And there's so much going on here. So the Father and JC seem to have made amends here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, they're teaming up. So it's curious to see the two oldest members of the Doom Brothers see how they can do against a team because the doom Brothers lost the first match can the representation of doom brothers the father and doom brother jc pull it out and kind of even the win-loss ratio of tonight's matchups the wwe universe on their feet Oh my god, here they are, folks. The Awesomes. Awesome! The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 362 pounds. The Awesome One! You are looking at a the team Awesomes are the here, one of the best teams of all but time. It's sad to see things are going yet. wrong for them recently. But hopefully tonight, if they win, if they can get redemption. J Prime is not that tall. I don't know how he went over the top rope like that. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we got an absolutely beautiful tag team matchup here. My god. My god. This is going to be a beautiful match. This is gonna be and now, good. the Doom Brothers. But with the father? Is he actually a part of the Doom Brothers? Or is JC going to come out separately? Oh my god. And there are This is a cursed like image. My lord, ladies and gentlemen. And I didn't know the father had those moves. Alright, lads. This is going to be a phenomenal matchup here. New teams. Old teams. Father and son. <laughs> 
Once again, United has won. Oh no, like I was saying, like I was saying, the awesome seem to be having a complicated process here. And the bell is wrong, getting this Not a good start. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you All right. don't have to look any further <clears> Yeah, if they two lose, two they'll two definitely two have some cracks. Of course, JC and the father are not one to sneeze at. They are powerful. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh my gosh, what is JC doing? My lord. That could have broken Jay Prime's back. JC missing an elbow? Is that why he got up all slow? Oh! Oh my gosh. That was a far throw. I guess you could say it's far fetched, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my lord, JC. What is this? Oh my lord. The power. How far could he have gone if it wasn't for the ropes? He could have gone all the way backstage. What is JC doing? Oh my god. It doesn't even matter. JC connects. Tagging in the father now. Let's see what he can do in the ring. Oh my gosh. J Prime counters. Oh my. That was just a slap in the face. Oh. Beautiful slam there. Beautiful el elbow drop. Elbow drop. That's hard to say. J Prime, of course, with the elbows. Nope. He, he ends it with a brutal. I don't know. Scraping of the boot. Tags in the awesome partner. Oh my lord. The blank face, the high flyer, taking advantage of the aerobatics. Using the teamwork of Jay. Oh my gosh. Father avoided near death there. Look at blank face with the kicks here. He went right into that turnbuckle. There's the father in the corner here. Oh my lord. Dismantling the arm in the corner. A blank face is targeting the arms here of the the kickboxer. The father. Oh my goodness. What on earth? What is happening? Why is blank face he can never he can't even be stopped? What a madman. I guess the also Oh the seesaw DDT! Going for a pin that could be it. That's a brutal move. The father kicks out on his own amends. Playing face getting the father into the danger zone, I'd like to call it. Oh no, what are they doing here? Just the father met with four kicks to the face. Jay Prime seems fired up here. Oh my lord. Tagging in the the blink face. Why do I keep calling him the awesome? His name isn't the awesome. My god, ladies and gentlemen. Father's just been getting beat up. He hasn't been able to get a chance to truly show himself yet. My lord. Father and JC here, both teams. Oh my gosh, playing face is insane. What is going on here? A face buster to, to, to clock it off. I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. I'm not going to sit here and say that. I don't know what that was. That was very interesting. The father teleported to slam. I don't know. I really don't know what that was. A blank face. Oh my god, it's not JC. It's being targeted. Oh my lord. It's a brutal match here, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. JC seems to have the advantage now. Luckily for them, they finally get their advantage here. Oh 
He just hit a stunner on Jay Prime out of nowhere. Can this be it? Blank face saving his teammate. How sweet. How sweet of him, ladies and gentlemen. My god. A JC is just beating up, attacking Jay Prime here. What a insane counter there. A suplex. Throwing JC into the corner here. Oh my lord. This is a brutal matchup here. The Awesome seem to be getting the advantage here. Which is good for them because this could determine the future of their tag team. Oh my lord. Ooh-wee! Like the announcer just said. Now GC and the father finally using their team teamwork here. Finally getting the chance to stand on their feet. Oh no. Okay, the father missed, but it didn't seem to have mattered. Oh my lord. A leg sweep here. You just hear the strikes of this man? The strikes of this lad? It sounds like you're punching meat in a refrigerator. Oh my lord, do you hear that? Now GC and the father are using tag team to their advantage here, but unfortunately Blank Face got his bearings already. Oh my lord, the drop kicks of Blank Face is brutal. What is going on? Blink Face is a is a drop kicking god now. Oh, and Blink Face with the leg drop on JC's neck. The father saved JC. Oh my lord, from a devastating attack here. Blink Face, that was brutal. Did he land on his neck, ladies and gentlemen? Now everyone seems to be countering each other now. That's very fortunate for them. My lord. Both men brutalizing each other here. JC getting the upper hand. Both men seem to be get. Wow. Okay. Luckily JC got... JC needs to get his stuff sorted out. Okay. My lord. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? He's just brutalizing Blank Face in the corner now. What a monster. Uh oh. Oh! JC with the bionic elbow making Blank Face bleed. Going for the pin. Jay Prime coming from the heavens. The father, I think he's knocked out ringside. So he could not save JC there. Oh, JC is just <laughs> standing there with J Prime in his arms. Oh my goodness. What is he doing? The electric chair. Oh my gosh. A face monster to cap it off. That's the term I was looking for earlier. Oh. JC avoiding. To what is going on here? Okay. The AI is confused. Even I'm confused. Who is the legal? Oh. The father missed a Superman punch on Blake's face. That could have been it. The ref needs to get in control. I don't know what is going on. I think the... Oh my lord, Blake face. What is happening? Oh, JC gets out. Get out of there, JC. The AR thinks you're tagged in. Oh my lord. He's gonna go for the pin here, ladies and gentlemen. Can that be it? Oh my goodness. Jay Prime with the save. Like I said, the Austins are a very historic tag team. Uh oh. Oh! That could have dislocated his collarbone. Uh oh. Oh no. Blank face. What is he doing? That's not all he's gonna do, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna put his body on the line. Oh my gosh, do you know how coordinated, how, how specific you have to be with that? You have to get in the correct in between the ropes. What was that? Correctly in between the ropes. 
in order to do that because he went through the ropes, not over or under. He literally went through and picked the father here. This match is getting interesting. I'm sorry it started off with two tag team matches. Hopefully it's not too repetitive or long. But every match is a rivalry match, which triggers cutscenes. So I, I want cutscenes to make it more interesting, especially so it can uh, build up the rivalry, which I'm trying to do properly. For some reason, the game uh, is weird. Like it made uh, the undisputed title match. It wasn't a main event card, so that was annoying. Oh, they're going for a submission, but it won't matter because they're at ringside here. I guess it'll give him pointers if he does make blank face tap. And he may have felt uh -oh. slipping, so he J Prime tried to kick him out, but I don't think that's a legal thing to do. I don't know what the rules are actually. Uh oh. Blank face is unconscious outside the ring here. He has three seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. But the ref has already counted to three. For some reason, he didn't count at all. All four of these men are giving it their all tonight. Oh my lord, look at this. Oh my gosh! A baseball strike? I don't even know what that is. A baseball back strike to the head. It's like a double axe handle, but America version. Uh oh, JC going to the top rope. What is he planning here? Oh, a five-star frog splash going for a pin. They did it. The father and JC used the teamwork to make a, a good team here. Here's that bionic elbow that made J Prime bleed. Or no, was it Blame Face that bled? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, here it is. That's the one that made Blame Face bleed. Man, the father might be a good addition to the Doom Brothers here. What does this mean for the Awesomes, though? They lost. They seem to be showing more cracks in their team, and losing is definitely not going to help heal that wound. What is this? That is not the Ultra Warrior. That is the Big Po. Okay, well, AA is... Supposed to fight the Ultra. I don't know who's gonna come out because I don't know why the Big Po's here. But AA is scheduled to fight the Ultra Wonder. But I, I'm actually kind of glad the Big Po's on the pause screen, menu screen because AA and the Big Po have been having a rivalry. They haven't had an official match in a long time. Their first official official match, the Big Po just squashed AA, get losing his title opportunity. But AA has been attacking the Big Po successfully knocking him out one of the times, but then he lost his second time. So these two men have just been attacking each other for a long time now. So, AA, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how you get an official title shot match, but he he might just be releasing his anger. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Oh my god. Alright, that's why the big goes in the loading screen. Uh oh. AA doesn't know. This whole time it's been AA attacking the big pill. Now it's the big pill attacking AA here. Uh oh. So is this going to turn into an official match or is this just going to go until someone gets knocked out? I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh, I think the Big Po is trying to make this a match here, but he caught AA off guard. So I don't think that seems very fair. Oh my lord! That was a. That's not even on the. That's on the ramp. It's harder than the than the mat. The ring. I actually don't know. I'm assuming it is. My God. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm typing in uh, the progress of this. Oh, what is the Big Po doing? He's just smashing, demolishing, squashing, AA. If you guys don't watch the Meme Federation, the Big Po absolutely demolished Talking Tom. Now he's in the ring. Okay, this might be an official match here, but 
Can you call it that? I mean, AA was attacked like out of nowhere. Uh oh. A is now in the ring here. Oh my gosh, the strikes! Oh, what on earth? The thunderous clap! Oh my lord, the strength of AA here. He's doing it again! Oh my lord! Alright, AA is evening the odds, it seems. A is going to try to redeem himself. The brutal losses against the Big Co twice now. The strength. The bell hasn't even rung. I don't even know if this is a match. I don't know what is even happening. If this was going to be the match, this would have been the main event. But the Ultra Warrior is trying to come out here. Oh my lord. The ref, I guess the ref is trying to make this an official match. The Big Foot isn't going to allow that. Oh, and the match, it wasn't a match. That was a brutal attack with no victor. What does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? My god. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got word that Sting is in the building tonight. He's been gone for a while now, and he's finally back, and I think he wants to go after the Universal title that The Voice is holding. The Voice, of course, used to be the Sting's leader, the Sting's inspiration. Sting used to be a follower of The Voice, but that all fell apart. Sting has been on an absence, and he way, actually interfered in the Ultra War Under Match. Who's talking? The Ultra War Under Match here. Oh, come on. All right, well, I guess this is in the ring, but it's good to see Sting here again. This is supposed to be a backstage brawl. Oh, my goodness here. The voice does not seem phased at all that a ghost from his past is in the back. Oh, Sting here. Oh, my Lord. He's going to hit a tombstone already on the voice. A brutal display. It's good to see Sting back. He's going to go for a submission here. I don't know how this works. I don't even know if there's a ref out here. Ooh. Voice dragging the Sting off his feet. The Sting. Voice is now in the ring here. I don't think there's a ref, so I don't really think this matters. Oh, my Lord. That's a, that's a long way down, Sting. Voice here. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, again. Very interesting set of events here. The Big Post single handedly defeated everyone of the followers of the voice. Except Sting. Except the Big Post successfully defeated Sting at Hell in a Cell, causing Sting to have a leave of absence. And now Sting wants a, wants a title from his former leader. The abusive leader of the voice. Oh my hits. lord. The voice before. seems very cocky here tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a thunderous elbow to the head. Double axe handle to the back of Sting. The voice seems very full of himself. Former leader of the followers of the voice attacking one of the most strong. He's made Sting bleed from that one punch alone. Is Sting gonna be okay? I hope so. Oh no, the voice going for a submission here. Showing the fans in front of him the horror. What on earth is this? Oh my gosh. How, you can't even prepare yourself for that drop. If you put your hands out, you could potentially break your hands. Oh no, what is the voice doing here? From the top. Sting is a little bit ring rust from being gone since Hell in a Cell. But again, this was an unprompted attack. My lord. That's what made Steve Austin retire. The voice, of course, being the leader of Sting at one point, 
knows all of Sting's moves. So Sting is a little foolish to try, but I think Sting wants to put, close a chapter, close the book on this chapter of the Fogs of the Voice, and to do that, he has to defeat the Voice. What is going on here? Oh my lord, Sting Splash. Does it literally sting? I don't know. You have to ask the voice, but he doesn't talk to anyone. He's going to hit another tombstone. What a madman. Uh oh, Sting is going for the claw here. Going to rip the voice's head off. Oh, the voice escapes and swoops the leg of Sting here. Keeping Sting off his feet. That's a smart move, honestly. Again, keeping Sting off his feet. Smart move. Oh, no. The body slam that has ended matches. But this is not a pinfall match, so I don't know how this is going to end. I think it's just whoever gets knocked out first. Oh, Sting rolling up. Wow. Now, of course, do not underestimate Steen's strength here. Oh, he's going to go for the... Well, is there rope breaks? How does this... Okay, there is. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. Oh, my goodness. Look at this brutal... Ripping the legs off the voice. He can't even get out of this. My God. Steen had to let him out in order to get out of that. What a brutal move. Sting is targeting the legs. My God. The voice slapping Sting. Like nothing, nothing happened. Nothing has happened. The voice is fired up here. Both men putting their life on the line for our entertainment. Oh no, and now the voice is going to rip Sting's head off. Unless he's cur courteous enough to let Sting go. My god. Alright, he was nice enough to let Sting go, ladies and gentlemen. What a nice gentleman. If you can call him that. My god. The body slam. The voice isn't even hesitating. He's still going. Oh my lord. When will this match end? We need an official out here. We need an official out here. Steve is getting destroyed. Please. Somebody help this poor man. Oh my goodness. The voice. No remorse. No mercy. God. The voice is not going to stop. My God. Oh my Lord. The thunderous body slam. The third one to end the match. The voice has come out on top against Sting. What kind of world do we live in? What kind of society are we in? My God, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry to end on a sour note. Sting's return didn't seem to work out well, but maybe he just needs some more practice. and Maybe he'll get the practice in the next few weeks until he gets a title opportunity of the voice. We hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you next time on the SSWE Networks.